Traditionally, the students would go into the clinical setting and they would spend time with patients in a hospital or in a community clinic and they would interview them and care for them and take care of them in that manner. We've got a lot of flexibility with simulation that we wouldn't have um, if we were sending students out. We have some really special things here at University of West Georgia. We, first of all, we have two different locations. We have a Carrollton location and a Newman location. So students can do a full-time program in Carrollton or, or go to school part-time in Noonan. And it's the same curriculum, the same faculty, the same facilities in both locations. The simulation program allows us to give every student um, exposure to high-risk, low-frequency problems that patients would have. The whole benefit of the simulator is we expect the student to come in, do their assessment, find their abnormal and normal findings and make a decision and think critically on their feet in that moment. What are we going to do next? What is the next step? They are able to perform in that safe environment with faculty oversight so that we're helping them navigate through any nursing patient care situation. All of our unlicensed undergraduate students, they do have rotations through the simulation center every semester. We have about 10 faculty members who are involved in what we do in simulation. In any given week, we have about 245 students who go through simulation. They spend about two hours in simulation a week. Debriefing, um, you would take whatever students were involved in that simulation and also faculty and technical staff, go into another room usually and um, have a conversation about what it is that happened in the simulation. That debriefing moment is where the learning occurs for the student. Because oftentimes when you're in the heat of the moment in a simulation performing in front of other people, you're not able to really get the, a broad perspective or a global perspective of what's going on. So the debriefing time is critical because what you have is many perspectives. It's not just the student perspective, it's also observers and technicians. The simulation facilities allow the student to learn how to manage a patient, but also to learn how to manage their own emotions and fragility in those moments of really high anxiety. When those students come back to us a week or two later and they say, oh my God, you're not gonna believe this, the very next day when I went to the hospital in clinical, I saw that very situation happen. And because of what we did in simulation, I was able to really help out and I didn't feel like I was a fly on the wall and I didn't feel like they pushed me to the side. I did what needed to be done and I was helping that nurse really manage the care of that patient. That is the best part of simulation.